We're going to bring in Sam with the latest track and timing of the storm. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Robin. Good morning, everyone. So barrel strengthens just before landfall, and I want to show you some of the video here. This is 80 mile per hour winds with a 92 mile per hour wind gust as this thing slams into the coast of Texas near Matagorda at about four o'clock in the morning. Now, even though the center of this hurricane is kind of on shore right now, we still have an 80 mile per hour category one hurricane. It is holding strength even with the eye fully on land. So 66 mile per hour winds in Galveston. We have a tornado watch. We've had tornado warnings, a couple of them already this morning, and it's going to be a real problem with the land falling storm to have the possibility of tornadoes. Now I want to talk a little bit about storm surge, because even though you think about storm surge as the storm moves on shore, I want to show you the wind direction here, and you can see the swirl right there. Now watch these winds pull on toward Galveston, Galveston Bay, Trinity Bay, Trinity River. This is one of the reasons and one of the ways Houston gets flooding is that water gets pushed all the way back up in here. Then you get up to 15 inches of rain in some parts of Texas through here. It cannot not drain out. This storm is going deep into the country. We will show you where it goes and where all that rain goes in just a minute. George. Okay, Sam, thanks.